We're starting module three now, and I want to start off this module by briefly just talking to you about the gear menu. There's going to be a lot of places in QuickBooks where you can customize things to make it work a little bit better for you, but let's go ahead and start there so that you can see what some of the options are and where you would go to make some changes to your company file. The gear option is in the top right hand corner of your dashboard right here and you're going to see that when I click on this it's going to give you some lists that you can look at, it's going to give you some of the tools that are in QuickBooks, you're going to have access to some of your company options that you might want to go in and change like maybe the address, things like that, and also it's got what they call a profile menu for your Intuit account right over here. When you're looking in here, you want to get really, really, really familiar with a couple of these, specifically this chart of accounts right here. We're going to spend more time on that later in this particular module, specifically in section four, we'll get started with that. But everything in QuickBooks will run through the chart of accounts. That's why it's so important that you know where that is. Don't confuse the gear icon with this new option way over here. This is where you're going to click if you want to create a new transaction. Maybe you need to create an invoice, maybe you need to create a bill, maybe you need to do something like track your mileage. Those are all new transactions you could create. Just recently, they've moved this new button over here and renamed it. It used to be right up here and everyone got confused between the gear icon and this. Now they've moved it way over here so that you don't get confused anymore and it says new meaning new transaction. That's really all I wanted you to know about the gear menu right now. What I want to do now is take you over into section two where we're going to use the gear icon to go ahead and customize some of the options for your company file. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get a free QuickBooks Online Essential Keyboard Shortcuts infographic, click over there. And click over there to watch more QuickBooks videos from Simon Says It.